Hello, welcome to the Pro Landing Pages video, Premise Sales Page Tutorial. We love Premise because we've struggled to build WordPress landing pages without it. We believe Premise is the best WordPress plugin for professional quality landing pages. We like it so much we wrote a book about it, 101 Ways to Land More Business Using Premise. But we can talk about the book later. Right now, we're going to give you a quick overview of the first of the seven Premise landing page types, the sales page. First, a quick tour of the structure of a sales page. There's a place for your headline and a place for your subheader. The familiar WordPress page editor, both visual and HTML, and several new premise specific toolbar buttons, as well as a landing page assistant. Let's look at the landing page assistant first as it is an extremely useful tool. The Landing Page Assistant provides a number of copywriting assistance articles that you will want to read and study carefully. There's far too much great information in these articles to go into any detail, but as you can see from the list, they cover a wide variety of critical information. This is one of the truly outstanding features of Premise. These articles provide invaluable knowledge and insight into the art of copywriting, specifically tailored for landing pages, and they're always available. If you just click the Copywriting Assistance button, if you just click the Copywriting Assistance button, Premise displays general advice on copywriting. There are links to the specific articles within this. Think of it as a copywriting education in a lightbox dialogue. Let's look briefly at just one of the articles, long versus short copy. The copywriting assistance articles appear in a lightbox dialog, making them easy to refer to at any time without leaving the landing page editor. In this article, a detailed explanation is given on the merits of long copy versus short copy and advice on when to use each. There are several links to additional information at the end of the article. You will love this feature. I know I do. Now let's go back to the toolbar buttons. The first new toolbar button inserts sample copy into the page. This is a great way to start a new sales page because the sample copy is packed with helpful guidelines and instructions on how to write an effective sales page. The second new toolbar button brings up the Premise Graphics dialog. Did you know that Premise comes with hundreds of high quality graphics that you can use right out of the box? Everything from money back guarantee badges to arrows to icons, all included and all free to use. Inserting a graphic is as simple as browsing or searching for what you want and clicking the Use Image link. Let's take a look. There are arrows. There are badges. There are buttons. There are hand-drawn graphics. And there are various icons, plus a convenient search function. For example, suppose we want a big red arrow. Red arrow. We can choose arrows or all. There are all the red arrows. If we choose all, we get all the graphics that are red arrows or include red arrows. Again, to use one of these images, we just click the Use Image link and it pops it into the editor for us. Nice and easy. The third new toolbar button lets you easily insert an opt-in form wherever you want one. You choose the mailing list provider, in this case we use Aweber, and it automatically presents the lists and forms that you have created. Just select them from the drop-downs, enter the button text that you want, and click Insert, and it inserts a short code for you. The fourth new button inserts a notice box. Just edit the text that you want to appear. The fifth new toolbar button inserts a custom button. You can create any number of custom buttons for use on your landing page. This dialog lets you quickly choose and use one. If you haven't created any yet, you can configure one from here. Sorry folks, there are just too many great features of Premise to cover them all in a quick tutorial. The last three new toolbar buttons are for creating website optimizer sections. These provide a way 
of selectively changing parts of your landing page for split testing, and I'm sorry we don't have time to explore them now. There's still so much more to look at. You can choose the style for the landing page from the drop list. We covered styles in the overview video. Remember that you can always change the style of a landing page at any time. You can choose to remove the main headlines and or the header image using these checkboxes. You can specify a header image here or leave it blank to use the default image, if any, that you entered on the main settings page. You can choose to show the footer or not and can enter a custom tagline. If you want custom JavaScript in your header or footer or tracking codes or CSS, you can enter them here. Premise provides several options to fine tune the search engine optimization or SEO for the landing page. Normally, the title of the page will be the same as your headline, but you can enter a different one here if desired. While most modern search engines have learned to ignore a page's meta description, it can still be useful to have one. Enter it here. Note that this is limited to 150 characters, but with premise, you don't have to guess. It counts them for you. Similarly, most modern search engines pay little attention to meta keywords, but it can't hurt to add them if you like. You can enter a custom canonical URI for the page if necessary. You can also alter the default robot settings for this page using these checkboxes. They control whether the page is indexed, links are followed, and or the caching of the page by search engine is allowed. You can turn feed auto detect on or off for this page using this checkbox. And here is a very powerful button, duplicate. Once you've created your landing page, you can click this button to duplicate the entire page, including all the metadata and scripts. This lets you make changes to the copy to support split testing. This last section is just a reminder that if you're using website optimizer services, you have to set them up in the settings page first, which was covered in the overview video. Just for fun, let's build a sales page. The first and most important thing to do is to enter the headline for your sales page. You may spend a lot of time coming up with just the right headline. This is time well spent. Choosing a good headline can present a dilemma, though. Do you optimize for search engine keywords or to get the reader's attention? Ordinarily, the headline is used to create the URL for the landing page, also called the slug. But premise gives us a way to have the best of both worlds. If we go to screen options, we can turn on a setting that lets us edit the slug. And you'll note that down here, a new field has appeared to edit the slug. You can also edit the URL that you use. So back to the headline. We recommend going for reader attention. The main job of the headline is to catch the reader's attention and make them want to read more. Think hard and come up with something great. And remember to split test your headlines. The job of the headline is really more specific. It has to catch the reader's attention and make them want to read the next line, which is the subhead. It's one reason why you see so many headlines that are questions. The subhead builds on the premise and promise of the headline and helps establish the premise and promise of the page. The copywriting assistance covers this in more detail, so we'll just keep moving. Bear in mind that the subhead has to make good on the promise of the headline and expand on it enough to make the reader want to read your first sentence. The 
the first sentence should be compelling enough to make the reader want to read your second sentence, and so on. This is where the art of copywriting comes into play, and no one teaches this better than the makers of premise. And they do it right here in the WordPress editor. I'm not kidding. Let's look, insert the sample text using the first new toolbar button. Note the warning dialog is there in case you've already started writing copy. This button will replace it, so they politely ask you first. In this case, go ahead, replace it. Start your page with a compelling headline. It's your most important element. Good advice. All of this is good advice. Read and heed every word. Use the structure given, especially if you are new to crafting landing pages. But first you have to buy a premise. So what does a sales page look like? We can see that easily enough. We'll enter some text. Let's reassure the reader with the money back guarantee. I like that one. And then provide a big buy button. You can use a custom button for this, or you can use one of the built in graphical buttons. Let's do just a tiny bit of formatting here. And see what we've got. Remember to save often, folks. Yeah. Beautiful. How easy was that? Well, we're out of time for this session. See you in the next video. Oh, if you haven't signed up to get all seven free premise tutorial videos, just enter your email address in the box below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.